been in construction for 11 years. Uh, I work with my dad. Um, he is the owner of the company. I, I, I manage everything. I run everything. Um, about three years ago, Christy was working for a company that had about uh, 30 employees and she got pregnant and had a baby and about three or four months after she had the baby she gets, goes in on a Thursday and they tell her that Monday is going to be the last day that they're in business. Of course we didn't know what to do. Um, with, with both of our incomes we were making it fine but there was you know with a, with a new child and that's when the economy first started going downhill and and of course the economy was already starting to affect my job um, and she immediately wanted to go out and look for another job and she she started looking into the different companies that she could get a hold of to, to start billing on her own and come across ABS of course and uh, I got to admit I was the big skeptic. As soon as she seen ABS's uh, product, she was she was ready to go, and I, I was I was checking out everything that I could find on the internet, and I was wanting to call everybody they would give us the number to 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 make sure that it wasn't something because this was looking at it now, it's not a, an investment at all. But then that was that was our one shot. It, it, if we would have spent that money, we had to borrow every penny of the money that, that we spent to come down here. Even had to borrow the money for the plane ticket and motel for to eat. I mean, that, that's just where we were. Uh, she came down and started the training. I guess it was the first break they, they took that Monday morning. She uh, called me and, and I actually started crying, telling me that she was going to make a lot of money with this. And mm -hmm. that whole week she was just ecstatic all week and called me every chance she got and telling me how good everything was and that, you know, again I'm just a, a skeptical type person I guess and, and I was glad that she was so confident in it but I, I still wasn't 100% sure about it. Um, so uh, when she, when she gets back home, it wasn't I don't remember the exact time frame, but it wasn't like a month um, that she had got the client. And uh, me and her, ever since we've met, we've really not mixed our money. We do have a joint account that I put money into, and she does too. Uh, that we pay the house payment and utilities and stuff. But my money's my money, and her money's her money. I don't ask her about hers and she don't ask me about mine and, mm -hmm. and you know after she come back and got to working on that first client I, I didn't ever at any point ask her if she was making as much money as she had been but uh, you know I could pretty much tell she was <laughs> so I was happy I mean I was I was I was great with it um, I think it was two months after she got her first client she um, she got another client in the little town we're from. Um, so then she's making better money and I'm, I'm still, you know, I'm, I'm starting to believe in it a little bit now. Uh, about a month after that she got her third client and about a month after that she got her fourth client. And at that point I'm, I'm pretty confident she's making at least what she was, so everything's good. While she was going to training, I was going to try to surprise her by the time she got back and I made her office. We had a room, uh, I guess it's 12 by 12 room, and, and while she was going to her training, I remodeled that room and set her up a big nice desk and bought, uh, I bought her a regular computer with a tower and then I bought her a laptop. Um, I opened her up a checking account and got both of her business licenses for the city and county uh, business license thing. Because uh, I just I didn't want her to have to do a lot of that stuff when she got back. So, um, 
I had her a, a checkbook laid out on her desk there with her checks in it and everything. <laughs> and uh, the first thing she did was she wrote herself a check for a million dollars. That's the very first check that went out of the checkbook. Mm -hmm. And she taped it up, up on the side of her filing cabinet and it's right there to this day where you can look at it. And I mean, being who I am, I uh, of course started making fun of her right off the bat saying, you know, asking her if she'd cashed her check yet. And <laughs> um, really didn't think much about that either, but, but and now it's not such a big joke to me anymore about that check because I, I, there's not a doubt in my mind she'll cash that check soon. After about a year, me and her were going to Boone, North Carolina to eat. And when we went by the, the car dealership, she said, turn around and go back. I said, what for? Just turn around and go back. So I took her back and there was a big brand new white Denali uh, GMC Denali. She said, I want to look at that car. She got out and looked at it and, and talked to a guy and I'd actually, she said, just leave me here go out, because I was late doing whatever other thing I had to do. I don't remember what it was, but uh, I was gone for about 30 minutes and when I came back, she, she bought her a brand new Denali. Yeah. Um, Little things like that. I mean, I I knew she was making really good money, but I, I honestly still didn't know how much she was making, and I kind of started asking around and <laughs> trying to figure it out. But I didn't want to be nosy or getting her business or anything. And then she goes and buys a hot tub, and um, I mean, it, it just it, it it really changed things. After that, then I then I started asking her if, if there was something I could do in her business at some point. You know, I was thinking maybe five or six years down the road because I didn't want to do construction for the rest of my life. And she's like, yeah, well, you know, when, when the time comes, we'll let you quit doing construction. And, um, and then I was getting kind of excited about maybe getting to be in the business. And, and now that was just maybe six months ago when, when it first come up that I could quit my job and do this. And, wow. and I was honestly thinking probably six to ten years down the road before she would ever make enough money to where I could uh, quit doing construction and, and just help her in this. Um, I guess it's been a, a month now. I've, the place where we're building this this house we're building right now is, is on the side of a big mountain. And they only owned enough property to build the house. I mean, they didn't own any more property anywhere. And when the trusses came, these trusses are probably uh, 150, 160 pounds each. And the truck just dumped them in the road and we had to individual carry these trusses down this great big bank and get them down there where we would work with them. And when I got home that evening, I come straight through the door, kicked my boots off, and I sat down on the couch under the, under the ceiling fan, and I was just, I was beat. And she come in and uh, got me some water, and I was just telling her what a rough day I had, and she's like, well, I think you can go ahead and quit. And I said, no, there ain't no way, you know. Um, she said, yeah, really, go ahead and call and tell them to at least start phasing, phasing you out. And, and I did over the next three weeks, I, I got to where I was ready to come and come on down to the training. And since then I have, I do know how much she makes now. And <laughs> it's, it's just amazing to me that she can, with the investment that she made, make what she's making. I will say that it wasn't, uh, I think it took her seven months to pay that loan back that, that she came down here on. Uh, a good return. She, she just bought our daughter, our daughter's fixing to turn 16, she bought her a, 
a little Volkswagen Beetle, one of the new Beetles, yeah. to learn to drive in. And we're not rich by any means, but it's really nice to be able to live this country. I mean, to not have to, to live paycheck to paycheck anymore. She got two of her clients from um, people that she already knew just, just through kind of networking, but two of them was just from the fact that those doctors had heard she was doing a great job. And, and now, uh, like I said, uh, the one doctor from our hometown, uh, when Christy first started doing her billing, she went in and, and, and readjusted her fee schedule and fixed her new super bill and just through doing two or three things and the efficiency of, of the I claims and she's making probably three times what she was making before Christy got there. She's making probably three times what she was making before Christy got there. Right now, she's got two employees. She's only working, uh, honestly, she's only working about 20 hours a week. She gets to spend all kinds of time um, with the kid. I mean, she just turned into a different person. Uh, as far as the stress level, you know, working a job and trying to take care of kids and trying to take care of your home and keep everybody happy and stuff. If you don't have 40 hours in a day, it's, it's just hard to do it sometimes. And she was, she was stressed out for a while. And now it's just like a different person. But she's got to the point now where she don't have many issues and she don't need a whole lot of support. But, but she honestly feels like that anytime she calls, she's not bothering anybody. I, I know Christy works her butt off. I know she's really good at what she does. Um, I don't know if the results will be the same with another person because she is a hard worker. And I, I don't take away from her at all because I know she's the one that grew that business into what it is. But at the same time, and she feels the same way about this that I do, is that you're the one that, that she gives all the credit to you. Uh, as hard as she's worked, she won't take any of the credit for herself. And she would do absolutely anything you ever asked her to do because she, I mean, you're like her hero. And that's a fact. I mean, you. That's a good feeling. Uh, that's it. I mean, she just, she's very, very thankful for you giving her the opportunity to, to do what she's done with it. It's just definitely something that anybody can do it. Uh, uh, my daughter's 15 and, and she's already doing data entry and stuff. Um, but any, anybody in the world can do it. It's, it's exactly like, and I know this because I was a carpenter, it's exactly like if someone went out today to Lowe's or Home Depot and bought a hammer and a, and a handsaw and tried to start building a house today. You just, that would be stupid to use those old tools to try to do something today. It, I couldn't even imagine trying to build a house without a skill saw and a, and a framing hammer and all the stuff that we use today. Because uh, yeah. you can do Ten times better job, three times as quick, and that's exactly. I mean, what you're doing is giving people the tools to be successful. Any business there is, um, if you've got the best tools to work with, you don't have to be all that great to make them work good. You know. That's true. The tools do a lot of the work for you. Yeah. <laughs> if you've got a, bit, a a system like I claims that. I mean, there, there's nothing really you can do to mess it up. You, you put uh, data in like they tell you to and hit a button and it does the work.